If Chargers linebacker Jerry Atauchu ever needs motivation, he need not look further than his family. His parents, Nigerian immigrants, came to the United States when Jerry was just a child and hold careers in social work and ministry. His older brother, Samuel, is pursuing a master's degree. But it may be his sister, Glory, who provides the most inspiration. Follow me, follow me. A professional singer, she even has her own music video. Glory keeps her younger brother in line, helping him stay focused and centered in a career that can often inflate egos and force perspective to be lost. Although Glory lives in Washington, D.C., the two are close and talk or text almost every day. Well, my dad would say that me and Jerry are the closest in the family, and sometimes he makes fun and says, if you want to get through Jerry, get to Jerry, get through Glory. <laughs> so, um... I call him my baby even though he's, he's bigger and he's huge now. The relationship with my sister growing up was she was uh, always a protector. Uh, she would protect us from the other boys in the neighborhood who were trying to beat us up and stuff like that. And always, and she still is the same way today, only um, now the roles have kind of reversed. I try to protect her more. The one thing Jerry can't protect her from is the illness attacking her body. Glory has sickle cell disease, a blood disorder she was diagnosed with as a child. I, I, growing up, I never really paid attention to her uh, situation. I don't think we really even talked about it that much in the house. And uh, we, we just kind of knew sometimes she would just be really, really sick. Yeah. She'd be in a lot of pain. Uh, there's times where she would miss class or miss, you know, she would be hospitalized in college. I, I remember her orientation when we dropped her off at college. I was still in middle school. <laughs> she was in a, we had to drop her off in a wheelchair because mm. she wasn't fit to walk. So just seeing her strength and how she's able to carry on for me when I'm tired or, you know, physically drained, it's hard for me to complain. I'm not a complainer. I just kind of push through and push through because I see her and the fact that I didn't know about what she struggled with for so long just goes to show you how strong she was to not, you know, tell me, hey, I'm going through this. You know, if I'm sore, I'll come home and I'll be yeah. like, I'm sore, I'm tired, <laughs> and, you know. But she'll come home and she wouldn't say anything. And, but you know she's, you know, she's hurting. Going through sickle cell is kind of like my thing. And a lot of, a lot of times I don't like putting anybody, um, putting a burden on anyone. But Jerry has always been there. Just the way I encourage him when he needs it, yeah. that's how he does it for me. When um, I've had times where I've come here and I actually fell sick here and I had to be admitted here. Wow. And I mean, literally Jerry would come from practice to the hospital. And I can tell he's exhausted and tired and he will stay for like hours. It's kind of emotional sometimes, just him putting himself when I know this boy is tired. Prompted by his sister's plight, Jerry started the Glory's Hope Sickle Cell Foundation in 2015 to bring awareness to the disease and help those in the United States and Africa who are fighting the illness on a daily basis. This year, he's been nominated for the NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, which recognizes players for their impact in the community. Now as I, you know, become an adult, I'm, I'm seeing like, oh, this disease really affects, can it really affect somebody's yeah. life? And, just seeing her and hearing her talk sometimes and just, you know, I just can't understand the type of medication that she takes, the amount of medication that she takes just to have a normal functioning day. Sometimes I just get to always, you know, have an eye on the outside world and understand that, you know, whatever situation you're going through, if somebody, be it an injury or something, yeah. or, you know, something, things that are not always going to go your way, just always being reminded that, you know, people are fighting real battles and you play a sport. You know, it's, the sport is very important to me and, you know, I take it, you know, because it's my life, I take it very personal. But there's also people with, you know, real life issues and diseases and sicknesses. And as an athlete, it's my job to be aware of that and to use, you know, the, whatever leverage I have to advocate for people who are not in a position to do that. I think he's doing this, you know, not just as a challenge himself or not just that he's gifted or he can do it, but he's doing it because he has, a, you know, he feels like he has a greater calling. There's a purpose. There's a purpose, yes. Now headed into his fourth season in the NFL, Jerry has goals both off the field and on. No matter where his career takes him, though, his sister will be a source of support and reassurance. 
and she'll also be the one forcing him to dance when the moment strikes. After all, isn't that what sisters are for?